Hi everybody and welcome back to the Republic of Revilia, where we are building the most beautiful and prosperous island nation here in Transport Beaver 2. We're at Bluffington Station on our wonderful cargo train that's going all the way out to Midgar. Oh, it's a good day. We have a lot to do, if you didn't guess. There's always tons to do in this game. Oh boy. What we're going to do today is we're going to take a look at a lot of all of the nautical passenger services using hovercraft that we just put in. We're going to take a look at them, see how they're doing, make some adjustments if need be. And today we're going to start another business. It's going to be great. Oh, look at that train. So nice. All right, let's take a look at the business we're going to be starting today. We have a food problem, right? This guy's only storing one. We're going to have to take a look at that as well. He's getting grain from down here, which is real nice. There is some piling up. We might be able to put another truck on that. But he's also getting grain from all the way down here in this farm. Midgar farm number two. We're trucking that grain over. There's only one waiting there at the moment. Over here, 96. Nice. For the Midgar Bluffington line. How much can you carry? 72. Alright. Let's manage this vehicle straight away. And get more grain capacity. It's very important. We want to get all this stuff over there. And we want them storing as much as possible. I think it's this one, right? Yeah, it's this one. We'll get two more, right? We're going big. Nice. Cool. So, hopefully that will help with that. And if we take a look at our food... Look at this, still 10%. We have Capital City, 30%. I don't remember what that was at before. Was it 20 before? Did it actually go up? I'm not sure. I'm going to have to go back and take a look. But we want to make sure they go up as much as possible. So today we're going to be starting Shelbyville Food Incorporated. It's going to be great. They're going to lie dormant there for a minute though because we got some things to check on before we even get to that. Look at this. Peshwa Road in Capital City. Not doing too hot. They are overloaded. What line is this? Ah, it's the R2 line. Wow, we already have five vehicles on this. For the R2, let's get another one. Right? Six. Beautiful. I believe the R1 line also could do with some right I think oh no that one's doing fine okay I checked this right before I started recording and it looked like it needed one but everybody just wants to be on the R2 line so we'll do that for now see if that helps what else do we got we got Mei Tao Chung Rayoad sure it's a Rayoad awesome they need some help as well or not. Did they all just disappear or switch sides? What's going on here? The R2. We need another bus. This is for Megaton. Let's do it. Getting another bus. Beautiful. That was the R2 line. How is the R1 doing? Oh, maybe it was down here. Yeah, the R1 here. They could do with another vehicle as well. I was thinking of the wrong city. It wasn't Capital City. It was Megaton. Okay, good. So, stations looking okay we have mosaic street in megaton as well which line was that okay hopefully they will be helped by the buses that we just put on there how big is megaton not big enough for a tram just yet but i got my eye on you good stuff all right where else are we having troubles everywhere else is looking very good that's very nice People seem to really, oh my goodness, look at this. How is this okay? There's 120 some people. All right. Hmm. 120 some and it's going right to Midgar. I'm thinking with this, we're gonna change ships on this line. It seems right. So Megaton, or no, Capital City Midgar. We only have this one hovercraft. We're going to have to do away with that. We're going to replace the Windy with the bigger ship. 
a Zurich. It holds a whole lot more. It doesn't go as fast though, which is sad. But we're gonna paint it a beautiful blue color to make up for it, right? It'll be good. Nice. So we got a big old Zurich on there. Not you. Who are you? You're awesome though. Good job. Alright, so we got a Zurich on there. That should be nice. Hopefully that'll help with that. Capital City Midgar. That should be good. Let's take a look at some of our other ports and see. So like Megaton Midgar. Maybe we should get a second one on this. Just a second one, right? Megaton Midgar. Yeah, it's not quite enough to get a big ship. We'll just get two of the murderous. Nice. Okay. So we have the murderous and oh god. Homicidal. Good. Did I spell that right? I don't know. It's fine. So we got them the murderous and the homicidal on Megaton Midgar. I don't know if people really want to ride them, but it's fine. We're just gonna go with it. Hmm. Maybe they should get a big one. We're gonna leave it as the just the two hovercraft. I kind of really love these things. They're the perfect water taxi. Look how fast they are. They go so fast. He's already doing over 93. 93 kilometers an hour in the water. Zooming along. It's perfect. I just noticed something. We're all the way down in Bloatsburg. Bloatsburg doesn't have any passenger shipping, but they do have the building. We just, we put a cargo port thing, whatever the hell that thing's called. We put a cargo one there. I want to get rid of that and put a passenger one in and get some passenger services. So I'm trying to move all these lines off of number four here. So we got this one. Let's move this to number six. Just want to make sure it doesn't... Yeah, there's no errors or anything. So we should be good to just get rid of that now. Right? We look at all the lines. They'll still go there because it's an option. But not for long. Not for long at all. Get out of here. We have to get rid of this... There we go. The whole thing. Might take a moment. There we go. Nice. Alright, we want to get passengers back in here. That's what's up. Give that a minute to populate. There we go. And make sure we get a nice landing on there. And, oh man. This is going to be ridiculous. Did it go in? Okay, it went in. Nice. So, we have passenger now. Oh, wow. Look at all those machines. Beautiful. Alright. So, we got the dock in now. I have to make just like a million lines real fast to connect everybody. We want them to be able to connect to every single port. All right, I got all of the lines in place. I made them all pink so they're easier to see. So we got Capital City Bloatsburg, we got Megaton Bloatsburg, Midgar Bloatsburg, Shelbyville Bloatsburg, and Townsville Bloatsburg. So we got five more lines, then we have to buy five more ships. And this also has made me realize that we need more. We're not going to do it in this episode, but look, Bluffington doesn't have one. They have the remnants of one but they don't have one we got what is it Anawana up here they have a dock but they don't have one it's real sad we're gonna have to get things on them as soon as we can but not today right how many did i say we have to buy i forgot already was it seven i'm pretty sure it was seven right it was definitely seven almost 100 percent positive we'll paint them the beautiful blue and, oh man, we have to name all these. Alright, got them all named up. And we only needed five. I can't count. It's fine. Look at this. Capital City Bloatsburg, got one for you. Pineapple Express, you can go on. Megaton Bloatsburg. Micro Mark 1. Where are we at? This one? I think. Oh man, I have to pay more attention. And then Town Townsville Bloatsburg. Who did I forget? I'm so bad at this. Ah, uh, Shelbyville Bloatsburg. That's the one I forgot. Shelbyville Bloatsburg, go get him. All right, nice. All right, there we go, perfect. Got them all good. I probably should have bought them at different <laughs> ports, but you know, it's fine. The capital city shipyard will do. 
All right, so we got all of them doing their thing. Let's take a look at this food. We want to start Shelbyville Food Incorporated. Nice. It's going to be great. We have this farm, Shelbyville Farms, right here. That's real nice. That should be very easy to truck over. We're going to utilize our highway that we put in. We have these beautiful exit ramps, and they're actually two-way. As you can see, everybody uses this one down here. Nobody really uses this one. So, since the farm's right here, and this is a two-way exit, we're just going to hook right in to this, have them follow the highway up, take this little exit, and they'll be able to go right here to drop off their grain. And then we should be able to take the food, use, utilize the highway again, and then come up here. And I want to build another truck depot down here for them to drop off the food because we have food going out at this train station here that it could tie into. And we're going to take food to this port and we're going to take a new cargo shipping line that's going to ship grain from this farm over to here to drop the grain off so they can go to food processing and then it'll take back food for Capital City and maybe even for O-Town. Not even sure, it's just gonna bring food back here. So we're gonna have to truck grain from this farm down probably under this bridge, make a new road and a connection here to drop off and then have them loop back around. That'll probably do. All right, let's get started with everything we need on this end. So I'm thinking if we just get ourselves, yeah, medium country road, we should be able to come off right, yeah, at the center point here. Nice. Why is it going uphill? Oh, it is kind of uphill. All right, that's fine. We'll bring that off nice and straight. What does it look like connecting into there? It's a little off. I don't like it. Let's see if we can fix that a little bit. I just want to take this back just a tad. So I'm going to put another road in. I'd like to take it back to maybe here. If we can. So just stick that in real quick so we can get rid of that. Nice. And then we'll be able to get rid of that little bit. Perfect. All right. Medium country road. Where's the middle? Right about here. Looking good. Alright, so we'll come off nice and straight, going uphill slightly. Oh, that looks good. Nice. And then we'll just turn into that. Looking good. And we'll get ourselves a little station down here. Uh, we'll do one on each side to give them options, right? And we'll just nestle this in. Perfect. Awesome. So we got that in there. And down here, how many are we going to need? First, let's upgrade the road. Going to get a medium country road. Upgrade this bad boy. Perfect. And it'll go all the way down. Nice. That'll do. All right. So we got a nice medium country road going down there. Let's get our building in. Uh, we'll just do one on each side to start. And I kind of think I want it on this side right next to it. It's going to limit how much we can build on the right hand side of this platform, but that's fine. Don't think we need that much room. We're going to get it nice and close. Set it back a little bit. Perfect. All right, good. So we got that. We don't have to upgrade any other roads. So that's nice. We already have that there. Good. I kind of... I don't like this road. I'm going to keep it though. It'll be fine. I was going to nibble that down a little bit, but whatever. It's fine. All right. I want to build another truck station down here. And we'll just keep it like this, right? Platform on each side. I'm sure we're going to need to expand it eventually. Just want to make sure it's nice and straight. We'll set it back from the road a little bit. That looks perfect. Nice. All right. So we got that in there and that should, yeah, it connects to the port. Good. And it connects to that. Perfect. It's exactly what we need. All right. 
Next building, all the way down here in this farm. Let's upgrade these roads if we can. Street medium, can we do it? We can, nice. We'll just go, yeah, up to there should be good. Go all the way down and do little bits at a time till we get, yeah, right under to there. Perfect. So that's all decent sized country road. Let's get our building up here. There we go. And then we want to put a road in. Let's see, not the country road. Let's get a regular street. Yeah, we'll do a medium street, put a curve on it. And I would like to come from right under here. Yeah, right under the bridge. Curve it up and yeah I'd like to put another curve on it and have it hook right into there should be good and then with this connection if we put a truck unload station there it should connect up to everything so truck unload we put it on this side yeah good it links up to the train station but not the docks actually uh oh I thought we'd have uh, a little bit more connectivity. You can see it all the way down here, like trying to reach it. Yeah, we would have to go all the way down here. Hmm. All right. Got a plan. Check this out. If we take a look at this building, this truck on load, if we use this little tiny side street, it connects to the port. That's what we need. So I want to get to this little side street somehow. There is quite a bit of traffic in this area it's really not the best but what i'm thinking we can do i'm gonna go ahead and pause it i want to move this street over look at how many intersections we have here we're not really going to use this i'm going to leave it there because i just really like the way that it looks and hopefully they'll build some buildings in this little area maybe we'll get rid of it eventually i'm not sure but what i want to do is just redo this little area here we're going to, here, let's just get started. We're going to get rid of this street entirely. And this little bit. And this little bit. All right. And this. Let's get rid of everything. Get out of here. You bother me. All right. So let's get ourselves some streets and plan this out. We got a nice medium street here. What I'd like to do is connect straight from this. To where this is going to connect into and then have this also it's going to be ugh, a three-point intersection probably not the best right all right let's try and avoid a three-point intersection if we can we'll bring this down to maybe here i want to try and get a nice angle on it so that it almost goes straight into this that looks pretty good All right, so we got that. Let's get a nice straight road from here to here. That's looking pretty good. All right. And I'm wondering, maybe we can give them a little street to occupy and turn around in. The tram depot, we could put that somewhere else. We could figure out a spot for that in a minute. It does not have to be here. So let's, ooh, maybe we should just put one of these in instead of just the truck on load. That might be a good idea. Just get one platform, stick it in here. Make sure that it connects to the port. It is. Good. All right. I like this idea. We may as well just get a platform on each side, right? Perfect. All right, so we got that in. Just make sure, double check. Yes, okay, it connects to there. We can fill the rest of this in with trees real quick. Make it look nice and pretty. There we go, look at that. Holy sh that was a bit much. <laughs> we got a little carried away. That is really, really over, oh my God. You can actually put, wait. You can actually put trees over top of stuff? That doesn't seem right. Let's try and erase some of this stuff. There we go. 
Here, we'll try and put the trees in a little bit more lovingly, right? So they're not just all over the damn place. Maybe turn the strength down. Come on, there we go. Yeah, that's so much nicer. All right. It's got this nice wooded area. And we don't have to connect this street, actually. That could just dead end. That's a small little street. I like that. The street ends, okay? You can't go any further. Don't do it. This is dumb. I like it though. It could be nice. There you go. We'll put a little little light there too. So you know people, they'll just try and drive right through. It'll be crazy. Alright, nice. So we got that going. Let's get all these lines in place. Alright, I think we have everything set. I have the shipping line that goes from Capital City to Shelbyville. They have their own platform on number three here for all the grain to pile up. That's good. We have the grain line coming from the farm. Uh, it could use both platforms here. Good. It comes down and it can use both platforms there. Nice. We also have the grain line here, which I put a waypoint in down here. So it starts its journey, it collects the grain, it uses this side so that it doesn't cross over the highway to go out. It goes all the way down, around, and then on its way back, it makes a right here instead of crossing the highway and goes down and then just makes a little Yui right here to go in. And then with the food line, put in some waypoints as well so that they'll pick up here. They'll go out of the city, use, utilize the highway, hop off the highway, come all the way down, drop off, and then go all the way back. Nice. I kind of feel like on the return trip, I should put in another waypoint and have them come up this way. Let's do it. Dun, 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 another waypoint. Pop one in right there. I already forget which line it is. It's over here. Good. Manage the line. And let's see, after Shelbyville East. Oh, what waypoint? Oh, you were using waypoint three. Before you get to that, though, go to that waypoint. There you go. So it'll come this way and then go back on the highway. Nice. I like it. All right. All we should need is some ships and stuff. Here, let's pause it and let's buy some things. All right. For the shipping line, we're going to do some tugs. This one can do food and it can do grain. That's perfect. Look at the minty fresh just hanging out here. That's great. All right, we're going to buy a new tug. And in honor of minty fresh, we're going to call it, I don't know, Skittles. Does that make any sense? No, it's fine. Paint you dark. Yay, you're dark blue. Perfect. And your capital city, Shelbyville. You're not going to have anything to do at the moment, but don't worry. All right. Don't worry at all. Let's buy some cargo. We need some of our beautiful man dump trucks. Yeah, for the grain. Let's just get two. We're going to buy two for now. And we're going to paint them the beautiful golden color of grain. And we'll put them on. This should be the cargo truck grain Shelbyville. Right? Yeah, grain Shelbyville. We got them on there. Nice. Let's buy one of these guys. And this is for the food. Make that beautiful bright yellow. And this should be cargo truck shoe food Shelbyville, right? No, it's back up this way. Cargo truck food Shelbyville port thing, right? Shelbyville port station. Perfect. That's exactly what I meant. All right. So we got those going on. And we should just need down here. There we go. All right. Let's buy ourselves... A beautiful dump truck here. Where is it at? This guy right here. Make you beautiful golden. And this should be the grain capital city. Capital city farms. Perfect. So we got him on there. That should be it. We should be good to go. Right? Truck, do your thing. Lickety split. All right, I put four trucks each 
on each grain line. I just, well, yeah, we're running out of space already here. Things piling up real fast. All right, let's lengthen these out and get some buildings on these guys. Put one on the corner right here. There we go, that'll look good. And they're here to pick up the stuff already. Beautiful. Let's go to our other grain. And should have to do the same. Are you guys uh gonna make some stuff? Hopefully they're gonna make some stuff. Make some grain. I don't I'm guessing it's gonna pile up on this side. I don't really know yet, so let's just get a building on for now and wait for that to do its thing. I just realized the problem. I was looking at our other grain farm out here. They're not doing anything. It's because we have the grain coming here and then being shipped to Shelbyville. But then it doesn't go anywhere. It doesn't go anywhere from here. So what we gotta do, this food line that we're bringing food down to the ports in the station, we're gonna configure this to bring grain back. Right? It's perfect. So in East, you're gonna unload all that stuff and load up on this. Load up on the grain. And then in North, do the same thing. You're gonna load up on food, unload. Perfect. And we should make sure that we switch this to be, yeah, I'm thinking both platforms. Let's do both platforms there. Both platforms there, good, should be good. Now with that in, I'm hoping that our farm here should start producing because they should see that you can indeed get the grain all the way down. Right, right, good. While we wait for that to kick in, I was looking at our station statistics. Look at this. Jianguanmenwai Street is real bad. Midger in particular just has a lot going on right now. It's crazy. How big is Midger? Midger's a big size. Did we get trams here yet? Oh, look at this. The Midger Express. That's awesome. It's just the one bendy bus. Is that what everybody wants? Everybody wants to get on the Midger Express? It's crazy. Alright, fine. We'll get some more bendy buses. Should we just get two? Just for now. Let's not, let's not get too crazy. Just two bendy buses. Midger, that should be fine for you, right? Just two whole bendy buses and you'll be happy. What's up with this port? Oh yeah, look at this. Oh, it looks so nice. I love the bendy buses. Alright. Fine, we'll probably... Let's do four. We'll put four on this. See if that helps. That seems to be the only station problems we're having. Except for this. Silver Street, Townsville. Uh-oh. We can do with some more transport back and forth here. Ah, this line is kind of the worst. I hate this, in a way. It's really not the best, is it? There, I upped it to 12 trucks. I, I'm really not sure if that's actually going to help. Things are a little crowded in this area. Ah, I hope it'll work. It should work. It should be good. All right, let's check in, see how this is going. Where am I? Capital City Farms, are you doing things yet? You are. Thank goodness, they're actually loading some grain now. Happy day. Not, not a whole lot, but they're doing it. All right, how about this other farm? Down in Shelbyville, they're cranking it out. Nice. I think we already have four trucks on this. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. They seem to be doing a decent job of clearing it out. Got another one. Do you have food yet? No food just yet. Really waiting to see grain start to get here. I did add to this. Oh, look at all the food already. Nice. All right. How many... How many should we throw on this? Should we just do four? That answers that question. <laughs> We're doing four. All right, good. Uh, I really hope this is the ultimate food 
problem solver because I'm tired of dealing with this. We need to get food to Capital City. 30%. We can do so much better. Midgar, 10%. Ugh, the worst. Are you guys storing? They're storing a little bit. They're storing just a little bit. Uh, we just have to give it a little bit of time, let this stuff kick in, and oh my goodness. There's 200 people waiting. <laughs> Midgar Bluffington, how are things down in Midgar? Only 17 on this end. Alright, fine. Uh, what are we going to do with this? Alright, we're going to double up on this train. Let's edit this train. Uh, I, I get a little confused as to... Uh, which side is which? So we have this one. I think this one's facing the right way. And then that. No, that was the wrong one. Okay, so we want this one. I think that's right. I hope that's right. Let's paint it our beautiful pastelish color and have a look. Did we do good? That's facing the right way, and ah, oh, I think I did it. Nice. Oh, look at all that grain going down. Nice, we need that. Alright, beautiful. We upgraded this train. It's looking real nice, real fancy. Let's hop over this bridge here. Ah, oh, I love this game. This is so fantastic. Look at all of our wonderful trains. I just noticed something that might be helpful. All the traffic was taking this lower road here in Capital City until I got rid of the traffic lights here. And now people are starting to use this other road as well. So traffic lights. Gonna have to keep an eye on that. And also we're gonna have to keep an eye on traffic. Things are getting a little crazy in Capital City. How big are you now? 884. Fantastic. Plus 270. That's nice. That's real nice. I also, I noticed there is some grain. Some grain is making it down. Oh, that's wonderful. So that's probably going to take a little while. I don't even know which side they're piling up on to expand this yet. Ooh. Look at the terrain here, though. It's pretty horrendous. Let's see if we can do something with that. Can't have that. Look, <laughs> what is this? It goes up like this crazy. I'm leaving it. That's fine. I kind of like it. It's nice. Wow, it looks like Shelbyville Midgar. They only have Grumpy on there. How are things at Midgar Point? So, Midgar Shelbyville. Yeah. Alright. Grumpy? Grumpy's getting an upgrade. Instead of Grumpy being a little... I, I always forget. It's a hovercraft. I always forget what the hell they're called. It's fine. You're going to be one of these... Oh no, the Zurich. We can't do that one yet. going to make you a Zurich. There we go. Go get them, buddy. It won't be able to make the trip as fast, but we should be able to pack some people on there. And it's not that far of a journey. <laughs> Things are... Ooh, wow. Wow. Yeah, we got a lot of grain piling up here. Fantastic. All right. No, oh, I meant to do the line. There we go. Let us get up to six, right? Let's put six trucks on this. Going to just slowly upgrade till we get enough. And we're going to do some smoothing. I see that. Get out of here. Got to make this island nation look beautiful. Oh, look at this. Skittles is bringing over two whole grain. Can you believe it? Oh, it's amazing. What a day. Awesome. So we did have quite a bit of food piling up here, which is nice. Added in a nice little building. Stretch this out a little bit. I don't know where the food's going from this point. I'm just feeding it into the system, and it looks like there's quite a bit piling up for O-Town Shelbyville. And... There was a whole bunch of food there. Is it on Skittles now? It is. Skittles is getting loaded up. Ah, this is good. So, we should be able to see these demands for food 
finally be taken care of, right? 30%. Remember 30. We'll see how this goes. Yeah, things seem to be going very well. Look at this. O-Town now wants tools and machines. I'm pretty sure I saw Midgar maybe wanted some more stuff as well. Yeah, they want building materials and goods. Oh boy. It's the 80s. Everything is about to explode like crazy. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, we, we definitely have a lot to do. There is always tons on this line. I think we have to upgrade this as well. Let's get six trucks on this. I always see just tons of machines sitting here. So we're going to up that. We need to start upping everything pretty much. Oh, this is great. All right, wanted to take one final look at Shelbyville Food Incorporated. We are now supplying Capital City, O-Town, and Townsville. Everybody on our main island is getting some additional food. That's amazing. That's exactly what we wanted. So they are taking care of all of them. We also still have Ankara Food, who is... Yeah, they're doing everybody except for... Well, yeah, Bikini Bottom is getting their two whole food. They're giving some to Townsville. Awesome. And we also have Bluffington Food Co. And they are... Yeah. Everybody. Fantastic. Are you guys storing? They're still not really storing much. Which is a little upsetting. There's not much here. We're taking care of everything here. It's just... Yeah, all the way up here at this farm. Got a bit of a hiccup. There's never really much waiting right here. There's 78 still waiting here. We should be able to... Oh, uh, looks like... Yeah, the train got all of it. And then has room for some. We're unlocking new vehicles too. Oh man, so much going on. Alright, that is definitely a step in the right direction though. We are getting food underway, still only 10% here, but we have three food processing corporations pumping out the food. We're going to try the same thing with the other industries as well, but next time I feel as though we're going to have to do a lot of station watching because things are getting a bit overloaded. We need to balance everything out before we can do another huge expansion which we're gonna do another real big expansion we need to we need to get these cities supplied and they have all sorts of new demands all right well i'm gonna have to go ahead and end it there as we ride on our cargo rail from o-town to shelbyville this beautiful blue train i really like the way these look we're eventually we're gonna have to replace these I'm thinking with the American version, the American Diesel, that guy that just passed us, Red Boy, we're going to have to get them. I think they're a little bit more powerful, and we're going to start hauling a whole bunch of stuff, so we're going to need that extra power. Oh, this is good stuff. Things are going well. Over the bridge. Nice. So, next time, we're going to have to do a lot of balancing. A lot of balancing, make sure all of our stations are good. All of our businesses are getting all the supplies they need. And once we have that, and we make sure that all of our passenger services are taken care of as well, then we're going to go nuts. We're going to try and utilize every single business that we can on these islands to pump out materials to meet all of these demands. I really want to see how big we can make this island nation. It's going to be amazing. I hope you guys are enjoying watching. If you are enjoying watching, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel for more amazing videos, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!